intake system, air filtration, air metering, and air distribution. Uh, here is a system, computerized system, controlling how much air flows into the engine. Okay, you got your air filter, resonator, IAC valve right here. Air is flowing through IAC valves, bypassing air around this throttle plate. Here's your standard air filters. Thermostat air induction system, a thermostat air clean. I think on the small test they call this air induction system. Air flows in here, right? And uses a hot air tube that goes to the manifold. To help heat up the incoming air and animate the air fuel mixture. A standard air filter, pancake filter, a modern air filter, dual intake air filters. Uh, you got air going this way and this way. Dual intake system, I should say. Aftermarket air filter. It may be legal, it may not be legal. All, keep this in mind, all aftermarket air filter systems are not legal. You have to verify by checking the EO number. So this may or may not be legal, you have to find the EO number. Here is a common problem, a rat nest, a squirrel nest. This is pretty, this is pretty bad though. Airflow meters. Airflow meter senses the flow of air going into the engine. Temperature, the mass, the mass of air going in, the temperature, and how much air is flowing through it, and the density of the air. So the airflow, the air vane meter, uh, the vane airflow meter relies on drag force to move a vane sensor plate. The hot, the hot wire mass airflow sensor uses a cooling effect. What that means is, it's a hot wire. The air goes across. It cools the wire down. The computers are going to send amps to it to heat it back up. But how much current is sent to that wire to heat it back up to that predetermined temperature, it can tell how much air is going to the engine. Carmen Vortex disrupts the airflow and, and measures the frequency of the oscillations created by the disturb distribution. Here's the vein, here's the vein flow sensor. All right. Here's the potentiometer inside here. Air flows here, moves a vein valve. It looks like this, like a potentiometer. It, all right, it moves that vein. It's a door. They don't have a good picture of a door though. What's a door? This is it right here, but not a very good picture. I guess you could right here. This whole set right here is the vein door. As air moves here, this whole plate and this rotates across this resistor and while it's rotating like that the computer can tell how much air is flowing through that engine but that's just the air volume going through the engine mass air flow sensor it can run to temp it can, they can say the density of the air and the temperature of the air it's a hot wire it's a hot wire type the one I just described to you the, again the advantage of this one is that it can say the temperature of the incoming air and the density of the incoming air And here's the hot wire you see here. And if, if, if people don't change the air cleaner on a regular basis or draw a lot of dirty, dirty areas, it can cause a drawability problem because that wire gets dirty. And here's the intake air temperature sensor for the, the, sense, the, the sense the temperature of the incoming air. So the intake air temperature sensor senses the intake temperature of the incoming air. So, so far we got air volume, air intake, and air density. That the computer, these, these, sensors can re, re, these sensors can rely a signal back to the computer on these three things. Now they're all different. Like this one right here, the mass airflow, it's temperature and the volume. The vein might just be density. Here's a hot wire again. With the air temperature going through it, see so you got, you got the electrical connection, air temperature, sensing element here, air goes through it, 
it cools it down. The computer sends current back current to the heater back up. My intake air temperature is hooked up to the circuit also to sense the temperature of the incoming air. Here's a wind diagram of the mass airflow sensor. You can see it has five volts, a signal return, and a ground. And the location, the mass airflow here, right in front of the air cleaner. Obviously, the air cleaner helps keep the, the mass airflow clean. Now, a lot of times, these air filters, now this is actually going to stay touched, they get really oily. And the reason they get oil is because of the PCV system. Let me find a PCV valve for you. Right? So it gets a lot of oil inside here or inside the air filter. I ain't talking about the I'm not talking about the Canyon filter that has oil inside of it. I'm talking about a basic air filter. Right? It has oil inside there. It could be due to a piece of a defective PCV system. That's on the state test too. Here's the PCV system. A crankcase ventilation. Its job is to take the vapors out the crankcase and be rerouted into the intake to be burned, like you see here. See, so fresh air goes in through the breather, go past the piston rings into the crankcase. The crankcase is the oil pan at the bottom of the engine. Push the vapors past it out the crankcase, and they are sucked back up the other end through the PCV valve into the intake to be burned. Here's a here's a PCV valve right here. The maximum flow is at cruise. At cruise speed, we get the maximum airflow through that crankcase. Let me see here. Oh yeah. At backfire, the valve is closed. Light engine loads. It's starting to open up. You see the air going by. Here's the plunger right here. Moderate engine load is the maximum flow. That's cruise speeds. And the heavy acceleration is closed. So the maximum flow for air in this system is cruise speeds. Now some of the PC valves on the newer cars are hard to identify. You don't see it like this too often anymore. Now you see this. This is a PCV system. On this one you can't even tell. This is part of it. Here's a Volvo PCV system. So it's pretty hard to tell these days. Uh, just in case I, I forgot to say it, it's a plunger and spring inside here. When the air flows, that plunger overcomes that spring tension and let the air flow by it. When you lose the air flow, the spring pushes the valve closed. Alright, that's all with my quick review. See you on the next presentation. I'm out.